Today, we tell the story of a failed actor. There's been shit that I've done on fucking stream that I'm like, how the fuck did I do that? This is somebody who found himself without a job. I've literally said it in chat, like, how the fuck did I do that? He was an actor at heart, but really didn't have what it took, or didn't possess the skills to be a successful actor. <sighs> hmm. And I want even one of the best. What a... So what better to do during a COVID lockdown? Stream games live on Facebook Gaming. That's right, we're talking about Nick Savage. Nick Savage was a walking example of how cheaters could slip through the cracks without anybody noticing. He's, there. He's around here somewhere. He's around here. He's there. He's there. He's there. This guy turned up on the scene of Facebook Gaming and was able to dominate the battlefield of the dance from the get-go. This guy had absolute unbelievable skill when it came to Call of Duty Warzone and many people were thriving off how well he played this game. This guy could drop high kill games from the very beginning but that's not where his greatness came from. Many people supported and followed this guy because he was an advocate for people who suffer with PTSD. He was an advocate for mental health awareness. He was always promoting this on his stream. He essentially created a safe space for these people who suffer with PTSD and other mental health illnesses to come together and have open discussions with each other about their issues. Now that right there is something that I believe is great. However, what if I was to tell you this was all a part of the plan? Nick Savage had created the ultimate plan to succeed as a streamer. He created a safe space to bring in a specific group of people, people who needed and wanted help from others who were going through the same thing. At the start, he was there to listen. He was more than happy to hear their problems and speak through it with them. But then he caught my attention. What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Nick Savage and his gameplay just didn't sit right with me. Something wasn't right. Something was unnatural. And I realised from the very first upload Nick Savage posted on his Facebook gaming page, he was using cheats. On September 28, 2020, engine-owning cheats got detected by Activision. That's right, there was a massive ban wave. Anybody at that time who was using engine-owning cheats caught themselves in a permanent ban. Many people were being public about this, claiming it to be false, but not Nick Savage. He decided to create a new account and add all of his followers on it. But then came the excuses. He decided that he was getting migraines off playing Call of Duty Warzone and the doctor had suggested to change games. That was his excuse at the time. But I decided to make a video exposing this fraud and that's exactly what he was. I'm on to you and I'm going to expose you. He was a fraud from the get go. An actor who couldn't make it. An actor who possibly couldn't get any work acting during the pandemic. So he decided to write down a plan. This was a great plan. It was going to work. But lo and behold, he was met by me. Bad boy Beeman, the hacker hunter. I exposed this fraud for the cheat that he was. I posted videos on his gameplay showcasing how this guy was using aimbot with keyboard and mouse as well as using wall hacks and he wasn't really hiding it too well but again we were at a time where many people did not understand what cheats could look like in Call of Duty Warzone but I knew I would spot this man a mile away as the cheater he was no recoil whatsoever and his accuracy is very 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 clear very on point Somebody decided to share the video into his live stream and the way in which he acted when he saw that and knew that somebody had accused him of cheating was none other than a guilty conscience showing through. It was not long before he ended his stream. He claimed he was going to watch the video and that he would be back. Alexios. With every, all the shit that's going around, I hope you're fucking joking. There is, I've just found it. Right, I'll end my stream and I'm going to fucking watch whatever this is and I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. He watched the video and he did come back. And this is where his great acting skills came into play. This man was trying his best to act like he wasn't concerned by this video. But at the same time, his facial expressions, his fakeness shone through. Nick Savage wasn't able to keep 
himself in you know check. What? Everybody fucking hates hackers, man. And many of his community spotted this to the point where even his paying supporters decided to ask questions about it. But his moderators at the time were telling the paying supporters not to bring it up, stating there was legal issues in play. And yet, no legal issues were in play, were they? No. I never received any form of cease and desist. I never received any contact from a lawyer or any legal representative. No. Nick Savage was using this as an excuse to try and keep the lie going. Many of his supporters who were asking questions were getting removed, they were getting banned from his page. These are people who had supported him from the get-go. And remember, he'd built his community off being an advocate for mental health awareness and people who suffer with PTSD. And he was more than happy at this point to just cut them off, put a stop to them being involved in this great community that he had built from the start. What kind of person who is an advocate for mental health awareness would do that to people who suffer with mental health? Somebody who is scrounging, somebody who is scurrying, somebody who is trying to find a way out of the hole they have dug themselves into. Nick Savage decided to delete every single stream, every single video of Call of Duty Warzone gameplay and from that point forward he has never touched the game since. He has decided to stream other games, but his numbers have never hit the same. It's not the same. This man used to sit on a couple of hundred concurrent viewers every stream. Now, he struggles to reach 50. But that didn't stop Facebook Gaming partnering this guy. That's right, Nick Savage received partnership with Facebook Gaming even after being exposed to the cheat and fraud that he is. But hey, he didn't actually admit to it. He deleted all evidence, denied it through and through. And I'm sure Nick Savage will take this lie to the grave with him. But that didn't stop him completely breaking his community into shreds, completely blocking and banning people who were asking for the truth from Nick Savage. People who suffer with mental health orders, people who suffer with PTSD, people from Nick Savage's community that he had built up of him being an advocate of those things. Will Nick Savage ever be able to regain after the shitstorm that he put his community through? After the shitstorm he caused himself by cheating in Warzone? I don't think so. But, again, he's still a partner, Facebook Gaming, and he's still streaming on a daily basis. But hey, this is a liar, a cheater, and a fraud. Somebody who had a plan from the get-go decided to use cheats from the very first video he uploaded, decided to use the approach of being an advocate for mental health awareness to grow a community. This is somebody who had a plan, and I believe that he had wrote this plan down, changed it a few times before even deciding to go live. So in my eyes, Nick Savage was, and always will be, a cheater, a liar, and fraud. If you did enjoy today's video guys, smash that like button. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to support the channel further, hit the blue join button and become a member of the Triple B fam. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Puh, puh, puh. Peace!